Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to um, <clears throat> tether your phone, it's 3G, to your iPod Touch via uh, a Bluetooth. Okay, and we are going to be using a program uh, named, I guess it would be iBlueEver, Bluever, iBluever. Um, it's on, it's, you would have to have a jailbroken iPod. This so happens to be a 4G running on firmware 4.2.0, 1. Um, what you can go ahead and do is get it on uh, Cydia. Just a moment here. I'll show you where to get it. Just type it in the search. I blue. Okay, I've got it installed. The purchase is five dollars. If you would like to purchase it, which I, it's the best five dollars you'll ever get. But you can also get the I Blue Ever demo. Uh, the, the thing about this one is it basically deletes your connection every time you want to connect. Um, it's also limited in some other things. I, I didn't even download it. I didn't bother with it. Ooh, I want that. I should get that. Anyway, okay, this is a tutorial on how to do it with the with a Verizon network, because this is uh, basically a Verizon phone. This is the Envy Touch. You would have to have a Bluetooth compatible uh, dial-up network uh, compatible um, tethering. Uh, just turn it on. I just turned it off. Let's go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi. And this is assuming that you've already downloaded the application. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and start the application. We're going to go on. And what you need to do is on this phone here, uh, let's go into our Bluetooth settings. Uh, let's go ahead and show. We need to allow this to be found. Hit more. Can go ahead and find it. Okay, and then it's going to bring you to this page right here. I've already got my information here. Okay, uh, for Verizon Network, the access point is going to be your phone number, your phone number at vzw3g.com. Okay. Your dial number is going to be pound seven seven. Account is going to be your phone number and your password is going to be VZW. Another thing you need to do is under chat script, you need to select it as default non-GPRS. not sure what that means, but this is the only one that I got it to work with, at least with uh, Verizon. Okay, once you're done with that, and you're done pairing and all that good stuff, it's going to ask you to put in a password, and you just repeat that, and you guys know how to do that. Go ahead and hit it, and we'll see the magic happen. Boom. You see that it's connecting on this phone, and the internet connection is now shared via Bluetooth on my iPod. I'll prove it to you by going into Wi Fi. It is completely off. You'll see the two little things there. And we're going to go into Safari, and we are going to go into, well, let's try nvtouch.org. Of course, I have no 3G as of right now because uh, of my location. But that's fine. Let's just, uh, it'll load. Don't worry about it. Okay, there we go. We got a 3G bar. Still no Wi Fi, yet it's still connecting. Okay. You know what? Let's reload it. Uh, let's just try Google. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to uh, uh, HD Nature Wallpapers. Look at that. So let's go to the H High Definition Wallpapers. And look at that. Okay, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, Alright, see you later.